Hi, in this video we will have a look at Microsoft Power Automate Community Forum Thread. The question here is how to remove top few lines of an Excel file that does not have a table. So the plan is we need to remove the top 14 lines of that Excel file. So here is the format of the Excel file which I got from the user. So I downloaded that file in my local machine and uh, we can see there is an automate tab here so when you click on automate click on new script but what i realized now is i can't see the record option here so what i what i thought now is i'm going to move this file into the sharepoint and see what we could do so i'm going to delete this let me close this file so here is my sharepoint document library and I'm going to drag and drop this file under the document library. Okay. Let me double click from SharePoint. So that's the online version of the Excel. It is um, taking care of showing the Excel contents now. Click on the automate again. So you can see here the, there's a different menu here called new script record actions things like that which i couldn't be able to see from the desktop version okay so for this uh, you know creating the script automatically if you want to store it you need to use the excel online version looks like that's the way it is click on new script oh that is saving as well so something not quite right here let me go back and delete that and record actions click on record actions okay so that's where you need to generate that and now i'm going to select column a and you know column a b c then all the way up to 14 that's the requirement we got then right click and delete delete the rows okay that's done then i'm going to say stop recording so that should generate the script now so let me rename the script to and delete top 14 rows that's the script and now if i edit edit the script you can see here see they generated uh, the script here okay the next what i'm going to do here is i'm going to close this file okay now there are different ways you can do it one way is i could directly use uh, you know the sharepoint here to do the job i'm going to show you from the onedrive how can we do this yeah so i'm going to download this click download so that's downloaded to my download directory here Okay, so what I did is I copied that file from SharePoint to my OneDrive folder. The next what I'm going to do here is I'm going to go to Flow and my trigger is going to be OneDrive when a file is created. Then select that file. So select that folder where that is Flow Demo folder. Yeah. Then the next thing is I'm going to use Excel Online Business Run a Script. See, this is the one you need to use if you are going to use the OneDrive. If you're going to run that script from the SharePoint library, you can use this. There are two steps here. Yeah, run script from SharePoint library. Then you need to use when a file is created, the trigger should be coming from the SharePoint connector, not from the OneDrive. Okay, right. Select run a script. Select the locations here. So here my location is OneDrive Business. Then the document library is OneDrive. I'm going to select that file now. So going back here to select that file again. So let me go back and select the file. Flow demo. Now hopefully we should be able to see the script here. See that delete top 14 rows. Now what, what I would like to do here is I'm going to remove this. 
and I'm going to take that coming from that folder so file identifier so that means any excel file comes to that folder it is going to remove the top 14 lines there yeah so let me save this flow so I'm going to call it demo delete excel rows without table let me save it okay so for the demonstration purpose i got another file i created called file a dot excel file and i use the same content and here i got 14 rows here which we need to remove then from 15th onwards to the 30th we need to keep it yeah so remember the file name is called file a dot excel sx let me close this the next thing i'm going to do is i'm going to click on test click on manually and test and this is going to prepare the flow to run now and they're ready to drop the file under the one drive okay now it's ready now so what i'm going to do next is i'm going to go to that folder uh, file a dot excel file and uh, going to my one drive folder which is under yeah here I'm going to paste that file here here we go that's there now so let me see what's happening now so any minute flow is going to run and then hopefully it should remove the top 14 lines now so here we go the flow is running now and uh, the flow ran successfully okay so let me go back to my directory the onedrive directory here file a double click that to open that file Here it is. So that's removed that uh, top 14 lines now from file a.excel file. So this is where you can utilize uh, the Power Automate to run a script to do different tasks. So in this task, we did removing the 14 first, uh, you know, top 14 lines from an Excel file without the table. Hope this is useful. Thank you for watching.